Alrighty, hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Traffic Candy here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, um, for those of you that don't know, today is December 7th. Today is Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. So, um, so it's a special holiday, the observance holiday. Um, I actually have all the facts right here on my phone about Pearl Harbor and I'm gonna read you guys about everything that happened so here we go so the attack on Pearl Harbor occurred December 7th 1941 the Japanese attacked the United States without warning now before I continue for those of you guys that um, remember from my video that I did <coughs> Back on September 11th, um, talk about 9/11. My friend Eddie, the guy that was in the video with me, talked about Pearl Harbor being like 75 years old. I think he said. But yeah, today is Pearl Harbor Day, so I'm gonna tell you guys. Sorry about that notification. So I'm gonna continue with the facts. The attack lasted 110 minutes, from 7:55 in the morning until 9.45 in the morning. So 110 minutes. That is a long time. A total of 2,335 U.S. servicemen were killed and 1,143 were wounded. 68 civilians were also killed and 35 were wounded. So just think, 2,335 U.S. servicemen were killed in that attack. That's m less than 9-11 like I was talking about in my last video, a couple videos back. And 1,143 were wounded. I'm surprised they were actually able to make it out. Um, sorry about that, I'm also playing a game. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's a lot. Um, what else does it say here? The Japanese, the ones that attacked Pearl Harbor, lost 65 men with an additional soldier being captured. Now, just think, the Japanese lost 65 men. That's a lot. Pearl Harbor is on the south side of the Hawaiian island of Oahu and is the home to a U.S. naval base. So, yeah. It's a home to a U.S. naval base. Wow. Now here's the cool thing. The attack on Pearl Harbor brought the United States into World War II. That's how World War II started, was the attack on Pearl Harbor. Now here's all the other facts. Um, Japan and the attack on Pearl Harbor. Plans for a surprise attack against the United States were begun as early as January of 1941. So think, that was 11 months before the actual attack that they planned it. So, that's just, wow. 11 months before the actual attack, they were planning on attacking. Although it was Japanese Admiral Izoroku Yamamoto who initiated the plans for the attack against Pearl Harbor. Commander, their commander, Minoru Genda, was the plan's chief architect. So he was the one that planned it out. He was the one that planned it out. Wow. The Japanese used the, Japanese used the code name Operation Hawaii for the attack on Pearl Harbor. This later changed to Operation Z. That's... Wow. Japanese specifically chose to attack on a Sunday because they believed Americans would be more relaxed and thus less alert on a weekend. How would they be less alert on a weekend? Like, hello? Um, Japanese attack force stationed itself approximately 230 miles north of the Hawaiian island of Oahu. So they... They were stationed 238 miles north of Oahu. 
Japanese launched their airplanes into two waves approximately 45 minutes apart. So the first wave went in and then 45 minutes later, they attacked. The first wave of Japanese planes struck Pearl Harbor at 7.55 a.m. The second wave reached Pearl Harbor around 8.40 a.m. So that's about an hour and 45 minutes apart, I guess you want to say. Um, sorry, I'm looking up more facts. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, when the Japanese left Pearl Harbor at 9.45 a.m., the Americans didn't realize the attack was actually over. They expected another wave to hit. The day following the attack on Pearl Harbor, U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt declared that December 7, 1941 would be a date that will live in infamy. Um, you guys can actually see a video of that on YouTube. Type in um, Pearl Harbor speech, Pearl Harbor attack speech. You will find it on there of President FDR. Um, United States declared war on Japan on December 8, 1941, the day following the attack on Pearl Harbor. Remember, Pearl Harbor became a rallying cry for the U.S. during World War II. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a picture. You guys might not be able to see. Hang on, let me see if I can turn down the brightness on my phone so you can see it. There you go. Right there was what the attack had looked like. Seriously? No wonder we haven't heard from you all day. You're from the and Gay. But yeah, so that's everything about Pearl Harbor. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please leave a comment down below if you guys liked my video. Um, subscribe if you enjoy if you enjoy seeing my videos. And yeah. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please stay tuned for a video maybe next week um and yeah so that's all I have for today thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next week later